Hey everybody, I wanted to do a longer video. Um, I just installed the, uh, the Hunyang VFD. Uh, it's three or five horsepower. It's, it's whatever it is, it's twice what I needed from my motor. So It's not that hard to configure. Um, the instructions are a little bit sketchy, but I've got a hook to an Acorn. Um, CNC controller. I'll pop over here to the screen. I will make a note on I'm gonna what I'm gonna do in this video is I'm gonna go back through that controller show you how to set it there's two configuration changes if you bought it on Amazon it'll tell you what they are but the instructions on the Amazon screen that are actually in the purchase are still a little bit confusing to you play with it a little bit I'm gonna show you the machine running I am currently running in uh, I gotta set the RPM and whatnot let's change direction Here we are. You know, I could accelerate or increase RPM. Let's, uh, obviously, I got this in low gear. Watch this brake. I got it. Kind of impressed with the brake on this thing, to be honest with you. Kind of surprised. Let me set this back. Down. Um, this will air out. I've noticed if it's too high. I've got to do a little bit of research and figure out why it airs out. Um, if you come around, when it airs out, I just hit and the slow, hit the stop button. Now I'm going to bring it down to about halfway, and when I hit stop, now it doesn't air out. And I'm going to come back and restart it. You know, for tapping or something, really, that'd be awesome. Um, but let me show you now, you can see we've got that running. There's um, the diagram. First of all, I'll start off with showing you the utility. I should be using the screen capture software set on my phone. I apologize, y'all. But I'm out in the shop and I don't have uh, any screen capture software set up on this thing and I hate to put anything on it. So I'll put definitions. You see spindle forward. Spindle reverse. Then for my setup, I set up for 3,000 and zero. I got that from uh, Marty CNC Garage. Uh, appreciate it, Marty. I'm not going to write anything. To, I'm not making any changes. So over here inside the machine, there's the VFD. Um, I'm actually getting like towards the end of this project. Uh, there's the VFD. I'm going to pull the control panel. But if you want to set this to be able to run off the acorn, you'll hit P00, you'll go up one, hit set. Do you see that one? That takes it off of the these buttons here. It's on zero by default, which allows all this stuff here to work. I put it up to one, which and then hit set, which puts that into the um, external forward and reverse, which is pins four and five, pins four and five to ground. Um, and don't mess with any of these others. Go back, now see F00. Now there is another one, um, I'll include a screenshot at the end that you'll have to go into F00. You hold this button down. I wanna say it's 07, 08 or something like that. I'll have to go in and look, um, but I'll include a screenshot. I believe it's 07, 08, and then set. Yeah, that was 07, 08, and then you set that to 3. It was, I think, at 1 or 0 or something. Set that to 3, and that's what provides the capability for this thing to, if I'm not mistaken, I will double check that because I don't want to tell you wrong and have you mess up a parameter. Um, but um, that's what allows the VFD to actually, for it to take a, a signal from the, um, the 0 to 10 volt. I, I will say one thing that did catch my attention on this um, was it says that it's a 0 to 5. And there looks like there's a jumper in there that's supposed to go from, no, don't hold me fast on this, I think pins 2 to 3. I didn't change it. I came in, checked 0 to 5, and it was only halfway up. On the, and I'll show you what it means. See the frequency, or the, the frequency 0 to 50? 
Let me show you what I'm talking about real quick. I'm going to enable it and I'm going to run it up to that's roughly that should be roughly five volts right there tap half so it should be around 25 26 I'm at 32 so at 50 I'm a little, a little better than halfway so but as you can see that is the, the speed so I'm assuming that's around maybe six six and a half volts um, so it, it is going to scale up to 10 so, but it's still, I didn't change the jumper and it seems to be working in a 10 volt mode. 0 to 10, so 0 to 5. I just wanted to mention that. I'll do a little bit more research and once again, I will include the screenshot from Amazon and I'll make notes in it in case anybody's trying to do this. This was a, I won't say a challenge, but it was a, it was a bit of a figuring things out. Here's the inside of the cabinet. Um, I've got all I've got left to do now is hook up all the limit switches and I've got to hook up the controls on the front of the machine Actually was able to repurpose one of those transformers to run the drives um, I've got to hook all these these up for my And I don't have to hook that up because I would actually Go to the V well wind up going to the VFD I'm not gonna hook up the brake because I don't have the clevis for it, but I am gonna hook up the speed increase decrease um, and the emergency stop here. I'm going to hook up the emergency stop here and probably make, I'm going to change the color on one of these, make them cycle start, cycle stop, or something like that. Um, as far as the Z axis up and down, right now I haven't got that figured out. Um, right and left, this is, um, this is the one I've been using. Um, I'm making the, the controller with the, with the PIC Micro. Uh, in USB, I'm a little bit concerned because a lot of these commands use uh, alternate commands like uh, control and alt. The problem is, is if you don't get it out of the alt mode, it'll lock up your computer. So, and then this is next. I'm going to take this apart and figure out how to run this into the um, the spindle encoder on the um, Acorn. I really would like to put an encoder on the Z-axis um, spindle. And then do rigid tapping. I was actually I have to admit I was kind of surprised that this machine, that the braking was just all the reviews I've read, they don't work that great. But this one worked amazing. So and that's where we're at. And I got reverse is working just as well. Reverse is working. There we go. Change direction. And I didn't have to hit, you know, I obviously didn't have to hit start again. For some reason, when I when I go from M3 to M4, it seems to go faster. And I watch, I'll change the forward. Watch how fast it seems to change the forward a little bit faster. Maybe it's just me. Anyways, that's where we're at. Thanks for watching. Got any questions? Put them in the comments. Um, this is just a hobby for me, so you know, I, I just love doing this. This is what, you know, what people people go hunting, fishing. This is what I do for fun. So, if I can help anybody, I'm more than happy. Like I said, I'm going to be designing that that, um, that USB controller to replace the board that's supposed to go up in here. On the first iteration, I'm not going to be able to get everything because I'm using a, a product board uh, from Microelectronica, it's just a USB um, dev board. But the one I'm going to design, will, I'll be able to probably do at least 100. 120 inputs, so I'll be able to use all of those, and I'll be able to also wire the USB board into some of these controls on the column as well. So that's a lot more than I need. I think I only need about 30 or 40, but um, I can use the option keys too as well. So, yeah, I think it was an F1, 2, 3, 6, or 8, whatever it is. Here we are. Thanks for watching.